talk to you a couple of minutes. Let me talk. Have this feel like there you go. Hey girl. You can tell the radio winners sitting way up in the back. Hi. We need to save our kids. Let's talk for a minute. We need to save the kids, right? Am I right? We need to save our kids. Let's talk about that. Bringing guns you know, to school. You know, and they don't treat schools right. You know, you know, you never know some, something happened at a black school and a white school is completely different. Something happened at a white school, God forbid. You know, they, they have a psychologist come up the next day. Talk to the kids. How do you feel? You know, Barney is there. I love you. You know me. You know, they, they, you know, plant trees, dedicate balloons and doves. You know, when they happen at a black school, they don't do nothing. They just make an announcement. You all know what happened at the volleyball courts. Please don't look over there. It'll be free jello today. Thank you. We at war. Is that a trip? We at war. We at war. Can't believe it. Everything has changed when you're at war, you know. You at war, everything changes. Especially the airports. You go to the airports, you know, they, 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 they check you. Everybody, especially you black. I'm be honest. You know we get checked more than anybody else. They talking about some random check. Yeah, I'm the only brother in the line. How could that be random? <laughs> We should have an express line to walk right on through because we have no history of hijacking the plane. Think about it. I, we ain't never hijacked no plane. You know why? First of all, brothers ain't gonna hijack nothing we can't drive. <laughs> Second, we have no relatives that are gonna pick us up after no hijacking. No matter who you call. Oh, what's up, dog? I'm watching you on TV, baby. You doing it big, baby. My car ain't working. <laughs> the reason we at war, Bush. Bush is a cowboy. That's what it is. Bush is a cowboy. You know what I mean? Cowboys like to fight. You know cowboys like to fight, you know. Because you know Bush got some friends who, you know, who really want to go over there. Some cowboy friends. Come on, J.W. Jr. Come on, let us go on over there. Come on, let us go. Me, Hank Crawford, Jimmy Dean, Bobby Ellis, Greg, Frank, all of us. We go spin they salads. Come on. <laughs> cowboys always say little weird things before they about to fight you. You ever notice that you about to fight a cowboy? Come on, boy. Come on, boy. I skin your snake like a weasel caught in a tree on a Sunday afternoon. Come on. <laughs> what do he say? What do he say? I don't know. Let's leave this fool alone. I don't want my snake skin. <laughs> cowboys be over there with big old four wheel drive trucks. You know, barbecue and squirrel. <laughs> It's hot over here, but it ain't hot as Texas. <laughs> don't move, don't move. Go get him, dude. <laughs> Bring him on back. <laughs> you, ever, you ever go to a cowboy bar and watch the cowboys dance? You ever see them? They be in the bar, they be looking mean, uh, drinking beer. Uh, as soon as that music come on, they completely different. Don't you don't. Here we go. <laughs> reward to go get Bin Laden. 30 million. That's a lot of money. 30 million. You know what? I say let the crack addicts go get him. <laughs> Think about that. Let the crack. They ain't doing nothing else. You wouldn't even have to give them 30 million dollars. You can give them 150 dollars, some M&Ms and a bicycle. They ride to Iraq. <laughs> and entertain their own self. <laughs> really? in about two days. He right over there. He right over there. That's him right over there. Right there. Right there. Don't look over there. That's him right there. Oh my God. Right there. Right over there. Look right there. Right there's another one. I'm Mark Curry, baby. I'm out of this piece. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Oh, I want you to watch coming to the stage my brand new 